Hey everybody, I'm back with the last miniature from Marvel United, and this is Ultron, who is primed in Army Painter's white. And I'm using a Citadel dry paint called Dawnstone, and I'm doing this all over the miniature. And I changed brushes right now, I'm using a medium dry brush from the Army Painter. And I'm going to use another medium flat dry brush to get more of the uh, spots that I couldn't get to with that big brush. My point was to get... Uh, the whites stay in the background a little bit, but get darker areas because when I put on uh, the shade after, I wanted certain parts to be darker and lighter. Now I realize I could have probably used uh, a contrast paint actually on this instead of what I'm going to be using next. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the videos guys. Take a look at the other uh, miniature paintings in this series from the Marvel United uh, board game. Uh, hit that like and subscribe and be notified when new videos come out. Now we're moving on to Null Oil, and this is what I meant, I'm going to be putting this all over the miniature uh, so that the spots that I actually did the dry brush are a little bit darker. Now I know that the artwork is that he's almost white armor, but I didn't want that. I want to go for that grungy look that he had in the movies, uh, or in the movie I should say, and uh, this is where that grey comes in a bit more. Now I'm using some snake bite leather. And this is for the entire base. Now, as you can see, I hit the base as well with some of the dry brushing, but uh, I find that when you go over with the snake bite, it gives just a little dirty, darker look in those areas. Now, I'm coming back with another Citadel dry paint, and this is Necron Compound. And I'm going to do this all over the miniature to give him that armor shining look. Uh, so this was to avoid having to paint him all in metal color. Uh, my primer actually of plate mail metal died on me so I couldn't use it. So this was the next best thing I found. Now we're using some Mars Red. This is going to be for the eyes and some other lines on his body. Uh, this is going to be the first coat of uh, these colors so that I can give it a little bit brighter color after as well to finish this off. And to do the few bolts that he has, and I'm using this dark sky, that's uh, a very nice dark blue, but uh, at first when I put it on, I was like, okay, it didn't uh, shake very well, so I put it back in my little shaker I bought recently, not to break my wrists, and now the paint comes out nice. And if you guys don't have a shaker, this nail polish shaker, I will put the link in the description uh, because it makes such a difference on my paints. And I'm using Lava Orange just to go over touches of those reds I put a while ago just to give it a little bit more of a highlight and a coloring scheme to it to make it look like if he shines a bit more when he's certain ways. And there you go. Ultron is done. Ready for the table. Ready to fight the heroes in Simon Games Marvel United. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you all in the next series.